Hi guys, today we're going to do handwriting for the letter P. So the first thing we always do is we're gonna put your name on your paper. So I'm gonna put my name right here on the paper. Your name's not Mrs. Kitsky though, so you have to write your name. And I'm gonna change my color to black real quick. Okay. So it says name the pictures and color those that begin with the sound of a P. Put an X on those that begin with another sound. So we know that that letter P says P, P, like a painting panda. So let's look at these pictures and see which ones start with the letter P. What is that first picture of? Oh, it's the, I think it's pants. Pants, does that start with P? It does, so we're gonna leave that one and we're gonna color it when we're done with our handwriting. The next picture is a piano. Does that start with P? Yep, it does, so we're going to leave that one there and color it when we're done. The next picture is a picture of a snowman. S snowman, does that start with p, p? No, it doesn't. So when it does not start with the letter P, we're gonna put an X on that picture. Okay, what's that next picture of? Yep, a pumpkin. Pumpkin, that starts with the letter P, so we're gonna leave it. The next is a ball of yarn. You use that to make blankets. Yeah, yeah, yarn. Mm, I don't think that starts with P. So I'm gonna put an X on that one. The next one is a puzzle. P -p puzzle. I think that starts with P. The next one is a piece of pie. P pie. I hear the P sound. The next picture is a peanut. P -p -p peanut. The next picture is an animal, farm animal. That's a pig. P -p pig. That next animal, that's not a farm animal though. What's that? A zebra. Z zebra. That one does not start with P. And the last one is a coin. It's a coin that <clears throat> is worth one cent. It's a p penny. So that one is, or that one does start with P. So now at the bottom, we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna write the capital P's. The star shows me where to start my P. So with my pencil, I'm gonna trace this first P right here where the star says it's where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna trace the P, go straight down, come back, lift your pencil up, come back to the star at the top and then go around. Okay, I'm gonna change my color so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna start at the star, go straight down, pick up my pencil, come back to the top up here, and hook it around. That's a capital P. When we do capital letters, make sure that they are touching on the top and they go all the way to the bottom. So I'm gonna start here on the star again, go all the way down, and then pick up my pencil, go back to the star, and hook it around. Okay, I want you to do the rest of these P's by yourself. Finish up, you need to do a P for every one of those stars. Finish those capital P's. Now let's go to the bottom and let's do some lowercase P's. And I'm gonna draw those blue today. And you see right here, they showed us again where the star shows us where we should start that letter. On a lowercase p, we're gonna start at the midline, the middle line. And same thing, I'm gonna start at this star. I'm gonna go down and my line goes down below the baseline. Pick up your pencil, come back to where the star started and hook it around. I'm gonna start at the star, make my line go down below the baseline, pick up my pencil and hook it around. Now, I want you to see if you can see what I'm doing wrong here. If I were to start at the star, come down, come back up, and hook it around, what did I forget to do? I forgot to pick up my pencil and start back at the top. So we make sure we have one straight line, stop, pick up your pencil, come back to the top. Now, I like to show also when I do the handwriting pages, what's wrong with this P? Yeah, that piece too skinny. If I had a skinny pea like that, I would need to erase it 
and draw it again. What about if I drew a P like this? What's wrong with that P? That one's too fat, so I need to change him, erase him, and go back and fix it. Okay, now let's look down here at my P's on the bottom. What if I did a P like this? Is that a lowercase p? No, because the p went, went all the way to his head is touching the, the top line. And lowercase letters usually stay between the midline and the baseline. So you need to finish out your lowercase p's here by yourself. Then I want you to take your crayons and come up and you can color these pictures up here of the pictures that start with p, all right? You don't have to color the ones that we X'd off and you gotta do a better coloring job than Mrs. Kitsk is doing right now. And then that side of the paper's done. Then you might have a back side to your paper, so flip it over like a pancake. And then here's a back side for the letter P. It says color the capital letters blue and color the lowercase letters red. So I'm gonna start with blue I'm actually gonna highlight in blue. And I'm gonna find the ones that look like capital P's to me. That one looks like a capital P. Here's a capital P. Here's a capital P. There's a capital P. And there's a capital P. Now I'm gonna do the lowercase P's red. So I see this one's a lowercase, so it's gonna be red. I'm gonna color that one red because it's a lowercase or a small p. And here's the last small one, okay? So make sure you do that on all your p's, <clears throat> uppercase and lowercase, okay? Now we're gonna practice writing some uppercase p's, so let's do it with blue. I want you to trace these p's at the bottom. Remember, start here, pick up your pencil. And this p, he's going beneath that midline a little bit. We wanna make sure that ours stay on top of the midline. Trace these P's, and then you're gonna draw capital P's underneath. Then on the bottom, you're gonna draw your lowercase P's. Trace these lowercase P's, and then you're gonna do your own lowercase P's. And that's how you finish the back side of the page. Remember to um, take a picture of both sides of your paper and send it to your teacher when you're done. Hi, it's Mrs. Kitsky. We're gonna do some more handwriting and we're gonna do the letter S now. So the first thing we always do is we put our name on our paper. So make sure you put your name on your paper up at the top here. So I'm gonna put my name right here. Okay, so we're doing the letter S. And remember S says the sound like a surfing seal. So it says name the pictures and color the ones that begin with the sound S. We put an X on the ones that begin with another sound. So the first picture is a picture of the number six. That starts with an S. I'm gonna leave that one blank for right now. The next picture is a picture of a sandwich. Sandwich, um, starts with an S. This guy's wearing a uniform and he is a sailor. Sailor, that sounds like an S to me. What kind of boat do you think this is right here? I think it looks like a sailboat. Sailboat. Now the next picture, this is a glove or a mitt that you would use when you play baseball or softball. G, g, glove, mitt. Nope, I don't think that starts with S, so this one's gonna get an X on it. The next picture is a picture of the number seven. Mm, that sounds like it starts with an S. The next is an animal. Looks like he likes to balance that ball on his nose. He is a seal, seal. That sounds like S. Then we have a picture of the sun. And that little bug is called an ant, ah, ah, ant. It's not a sant, it's an ant, so we're gonna cross him out. You wear this on your foot, it is called a sock. And the last one is a picture of soap. So remember, let's leave those pictures and we'll color them at the end after we practice writing. Come down to the bottom, and when we practice writing the letter S, 
the star shows me where to start. So I'm gonna start my S's right here. And I'm gonna trace this S, make sure he goes all the way to the top touches and when he curves around, his bottom curve touches the baseline. I'm gonna start here on the star, curve all the way, make sure he touches at the top and that his bottom touches the bottom of the baseline. Okay, make sure you go start at the star, make sure he touches on the top and on the bottom. Now, I want you to finish writing your S's on the top on all those stars. Tell me what's wrong with this S. That S is way too fat. So I would need to erase him, start over. What's wrong with this S? He's a little too skinny, isn't he? And what about if I wrote an S like that? Do you see that he's floating? We don't like floating letters. We need those big letters to touch the baseline and the top line. Let's go down to the bottom and do some lowercase s's. Same thing, I'm gonna start at my star, but do you notice how this s doesn't touch the top line? It starts at the midline. Most of our lowercase letters will start in the middle on the midline or stay between the midline and the baseline. So I'm gonna start at the star, trace this s, and notice how it touches right here and right here, okay? Start at the star, trace that S. Make your S touch the midline, the dotted line, and the baseline. Same thing with lowercase letters. We wanna make sure that our letters aren't floating, that they don't have that space underneath. The, the tails of our letters, the bottoms of our letters need to touch that baseline. Then you're gonna go ahead and fill in your S's on all those stars to the end. Then with your crayons, come on up to the top. And you can color in these pictures of the things that start with S, okay? And you have to do a better coloring job than I do. Then we're gonna go to the back page. If you have a back page, flip it over. Oh, and it's just like the one we did earlier. <clears throat> we're gonna color the capital letters blue. Capital means big, so let's find the, this one looks like a bigger S. I'm gonna color that one blue. There's a big one. That kinda looks like a big one. Here's the big one, and here's the big one. Now the lowercase letters are going to be red, so that will leave these ones, these smaller ones are gonna be red. Then you're gonna take your pencil and practice writing. These capital S's, you get to trace them, and then you get to write your own line of S's, lowercase on the bottom and uppercase on the top. If you're doing this from home, make sure that you take a picture of your papers, both sides, and send it to your teacher on Seesaw.